Six and four went to the store and all they got was 24. He's really fun and energetic and he's engaged with us all day. And he has a great personality and he's just a great teacher. He'll help us if we're having a problem, like if we're feeling sad or lonesome, he'll just talk to us and tell us, hey, don't think about that. Think of something happy or jolly or fun. Every day somebody comes into my room, you're going to see that I have a passion for learning. I'm a very enthusiastic, very energetic type of teacher, and I really want my students to absorb that energy that I have and put it into their own learning. He lets us do games that will help us improve um, some of the skills that we are having problems in. I come up with goofy songs for like whether it's in science or math. I come up with crazy dance moves, but it's something that they'll always that always sticks with them. He makes us want to go to school and learn. I make learning experiences for my students very fun, engaging, and purposeful, as well as helping them grow and be successful 21st century learners and leaders. I'm Brooke Stay. I teach fourth grade at Pillion Elementary School. You've got three halves minus one. She's good at connecting with her students. Like she turned, calculus can be like a hard, it's like a language, so many letters and new terms. She makes it approachable. A teacher that provides them with the opportunity for success. And so they might feel like what we're doing is difficult, but I work to make them feel that they can achieve at the highest levels. She's just someone that you talk to her and she immediately, you respect her. I think that my students definitely become a part of a community of learners and they're excited. Even though we do a lot of difficult math, they're excited to be a part of the learning process. We made it something that we can, that it's not hard, it's not scary. Calculus is our friend. My teaching style is uh, I, I try to just keep things different. I try to mix things up to keep things changing so that students are excited when they come in. My name is Susan Scott and I'm a math teacher at White Knoll High School. If you can control or change it, it's a what problem? She helps people and she gets us over our feelings and make it, makes us feel warm inside. She makes you feel like you're important and she focuses on you. Being a good counselor is all about relationships and not just with your kids, but with your um, teachers, your parents, your administration, because just like your relationships at home, they take a lot of work. We get out those feelings a little bit at a time in an okay way. I'm trying to just always um, come up with new ideas um, new ideas to help our students feel like they're leaders, um, new ideas to bring the staff together. I don't just kind of stay in my role, I guess. I want to help everybody. When something's gone wrong, she doesn't really panic. She just stays calm and then tries to fix it. Some kids come to school not knowing what their um, worth is and just tapping into that and when we tap into that they can go beyond the stars. I'm Megan Snipes, I work at Deerfield Elementary School and I'm a school counselor. She's really good at math. She's really good at helping you understand what to do all the time. She's really good at speaking Spanish. I use technology a lot to engage my students and I always try to think of how to make my activities fun. Ms. Caro helps us learn um, by us using, we use iPads and iPods, play math games. I'm very much not the authoritative figure in the classroom. I'm more presenting um, the concepts and the learning and then allowing the students to grow. She'll say that like we're all important, we're all really good students. Miss Caro is magnifico. I think I have the mentality of a fourth grader in the classroom so we can kind of relate to each other. I think that helps me be approachable to the students. I'm Tabitha Caro and I teach fourth grade Spanish immersion at Pleasant Hill Elementary. You're gonna take your hand like this and you're gonna do one, two, for five seconds. Really nice teacher. Um, I was kinda nervous about going into 
sixth grade, but she made math fun. I don't ever settle for um, anything just mediocre. Um, I'm always trying to improve myself, so how I teach now is different than what I was teaching 14 years ago. I'm always looking to revamp and improve our learning. She helps us a lot, like makes stuff understand. If we don't understand it, she'll do a whole other lesson about it. About a year and a half ago, I was moved into the math position and realized that the way of old school teaching wasn't working for our students, so we introduced a blending learning technique to our classroom. And I think always striving to see what works with the group of students that I have makes me a good teacher. She's um, been really supportive and she's been really nice and um, she's just a really good teacher. I care for them, um, not just how they do in math, but them as an individual and what's going on in their lives. I'm Jennifer Bird, sixth grade math at Gilbert Middle School.